Hi, okay, so today I'm going to take you through the free version of Microsoft Studio that's now available. Um, I'm going to be showing it in Ableton Live today, um, but it will run in all major hosts that you may come across as a content creator. Um, obviously, Ableton, Logic Pro, um, if you're using Reaper or any other introductory um, DAWs or digital audio workstations, um, this will be a really powerful tool for you for creating sound design on your own to get into your content. Okay, so let's dive straight in. So I've got a MIDI track here. Um, Crowd Studio is a MIDI instrument, so we'll need to add it to a track like this. So let's add it over and dive straight in. So the first thing we're going to do is create um, some city ambiences for uh, a project that I'm working on. So clicking on the city preset and straight away I'm into this environment. Um, as soon as the preset is loaded, Proto Studio starts playing to get you straight into that space. And from the simple controls here, we can then uh, reshape that environment and uh, control how it's being generated by the plugin. So for example, using the simple controls here, using the XY, I can move this puck down to reduce the volume and likelihood of sirens being created. Um, and if I move it this way, on the right, I'm going to increase the likelihood of generating horns. Um, there's a way to kind of shape you know, the sort of intensity of the activity of this city. So taking it now to the left along this x-axis will now reduce the horns. So now we've got a, a very low level of generated sirens and horns. We can use the other XY here to just give us a kind of distant city type of vibe. Um, and now we can just let the plugin generate this ambience, generate this, the, the sound for this environment on its own. It's going to do so in a very organic way. Um, in a very naturalistic way. It's not going to repeat or sound loopy or you're not going to have to worry about taking a, a small aspect of, of, of a recording and looping it over and over and over again and, and you know having something that sounds really unnatural. Um, so I'm just going to adjust this a little bit more and introduce some sirens and horns again. Um, you might notice that as soon as I trigger this preset this little capturing um, icon came up. So what that means is that as soon as you interact with a preset in Crotos Studio, um, the plugin stops capturing what you're doing. So when I stop playback now, stop the autoplay, um, we get this little icon here called bounce that's now appeared. So what that means is I can drag and drop my bounce directly to the timeline of my host, which is really cool. So now I have added what we did. I've added my city ambience that was generated whilst I've just been talking through um, and I've just dropped that straight to the timeline so I can sync that up with footage or edit this even further um, export it if I want to to put somewhere else but it's a really really high speed way of getting quality audio into your projects really really fast without having to worry about copyright problems or looping or, um, or anything like that so let's look at some of the other examples so let's uh, load a suburb preset so now we're in a very different environment, but the workflow and the approach is exactly the same. So um, now we've got a couple of different layers to interact with. We've got some burrs, we've got some traffic. can increase the level and likelihood of, of hearing kids playing as if you're, you know, nearby a sort of school or sort of, um, or a sort of intersection. Um, there always seems to be a dog barking somewhere in a suburb. So let's just increase the likelihood of that happening as well. And um, I can now just let this play out for as long as I want. Um, what I could also do is just highlight my certain region of my timeline um, and export export that region. And I would render the du th that duration of this suburb straight away. So if I had a scene and it was that long, I could just render this out um, and I'd be good to go. So just to keep working and not... not uh, not actually stop the workflow and render that out. I'm just going to do the drag and drop again. Um, and there we go. There's my suburb ambience. Super easy, super quick. Don't need any other libraries, any other tools. Um, don't even need to stop your flow while you're editing. Um, great way to sort of sketch ambiences um, and get things into your content really fast. Okay, so 
we've done our suburb. Um, we've got the background, we've got the ambience there. Um, let's say we've got some characters and they're, they're walking around in this environment. So let's go to the footsteps category and load the concrete preset here. So this is a preset using um, boots walking on the concrete. Uh, and all I have to do here is just simply click in this XY pad here and I can generate steps. And I'm generating them on these surfaces that you see here. So as I walk across to a different surface, I can walk through some puddles, blend these surfaces. I can mimic how a character is moving across different surfaces and do that really easily. Again, I can now pick that up and drag it to my timeline. Um, I can then, if I didn't get that exactly right in sync, I can then edit those, sync them up exactly to the landings of the feet in a scene and do it really quickly. So the thing that's great about this is that, you know, you can create your own rhythm, your own feel, your own transition across these surfaces that you're likely to encounter in a, in a kind of urban environment and do it really easily just simply by clicking your mouse in the plugin and then just dragging the audio of that performance straight from the plugin into your into your host. All right, so I've got someone walking along. Um, something else you might need is just some basic cloth movement, some sort of movement of their clothing as they walk. So what I'm doing here is, is, is clicking and dragging and uh, producing like a cloth performance, almost as if I was recording moving cloth in front of this microphone. Um, and I'm doing that just from within the plugin. Um, super easy. Again, once I've done that, I can drag it straight to the timeline and I'm away. So this little second XY pad here allows me to adjust the material or like what the character's wearing. So in this little thumbnail, they're wearing a leather jacket. So if I take the puck down to the leather little section, instead of them wearing a kind of lighter jacket, they're now wearing a leather jacket. Easy as that. Maybe they're gonna have some keys in their pocket. So now I can introduce this sort of keys layer as well. And now I've got something that maybe fits more um, to the scene and what that character is wearing. And again, I've just done that really quickly, really quickly, really easily, drag that off the timeline. Um, anywhere we go. If you want to edit that further, that's now super easy to do. Okay, cool. So let's um, load up some, some whoosh patches and perform some whoosh or transition sounds. So all we need to do here is click and drag again, just through the center of the, um, the XY here. That's going to produce um, a nice transition effect and again once I've done it now I can pick it up and drag it off to the timeline. So maybe I need to have a slightly different uh, vibe here. Again I can use the XY here to change the texture of the whoosh. So that's a more kind of airy one that's a little sort of slightly unsettling almost. Um, maybe I want one that's maybe a little windier, a little faster. And there we go. Simple as that. Um, I can try something a little more exciting, maybe a fireball. And that same simple workflow applies to anything that I'm doing here. So I'm using the second XY, the smaller one, to adjust the material, the, the texture of that whoosh that I'm creating. And then I'm using this larger XY pad to actually control how long it lasts, what its shape is, and how it how that performance is done, as if I actually was actually manipulating physical material. And you know, you can find from this setup that you can get so many different wishes, variations, and 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 different types of um different types of audio really really fast you kind of think of it almost like a kind of sketch pad where you can use these simple controls to create great sounding audio really fast and just get it straight away out of the plugin and into your projects so the free version of Creator studio comes with um, a selection of presets under the categories that i've just gone through really really quickly here so there's a series of ambiences for different environments there's a footsteps patch for um urban walking that we just looked at we've got a basic cloth foley patch and then we've got a variety of whoosh patches that, that you can explore as well um, you might find if you click on other areas of the plugin you get these little pop-ups that will say you know coming soon or 
maybe a feature that's not quite integrated yet. That's to be expected. Um, we're building this product step by step. Um, we'll be adding more and more functionality over time. So um, I really hope that you're going to enjoy using this free version, um, getting to grips with it really fast, um, really enjoying the simple workflow, but getting powerful, really high quality sound into your projects as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.